Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica here at Gambate Fitness in Los Angeles, California. And we will be discussing the base principles of gun get-ups today. Gun get-ups are a subset of get-ups. Gun get-ups denote an upper body structural position and it can be integrated into any other type of get-up. There are fighters get-ups where you get up with the intention of putting your arms in such a way as to continue fighting, whether it be self-defense or ring work. You have Turkish get-ups, kettlebell get-ups, club bell get-ups. Kettlebell get-ups and club get-ups can become gun get-ups if they are done with the correct intention. Gun get-ups simply denote the upper body position of two arms straight out in front, locked out, with your arms maintaining a level position throughout the course of the get-up of the movement. This idea comes from tactical firearms training, specifically the type of firearms training dedicated towards self-defense. There is an old FBI statistic that gets thrown around a lot in personal defense weapons training, and that is that 93% of gunfights happen within six feet. I'm six feet tall, that is six feet. That is how close 93% of gun violence happens. And a lot of that gun violence happens when people get knocked down to the ground in an initial assault and people have to learn to shoot from the ground and then get up while maintaining their gun on target the entire time. Many people have a hard time doing that because they do not have the body control to get up with two hands on a weapon without putting a hand on the ground. And they have a hard time doing it without deviating their arms up and down. So there is a whole series of training exercises that I use with clients in order to make sure that they can do this simple action. Oftentimes I use this and apply it towards actors and people who work in film for fight scenes because obviously fight scenes there are a lot of weapons and there's more drama if people get knocked down to the ground and then they get back up and they do cool stuff so there are a bunch of versions of this that we are going to talk about over time but let's start talking about the first principles first we are going to start this discussion using clubs Usually the way that this progresses is we start with a club because it's an intermediate weight with an intermediate length. Then it progresses towards mace. The longer the lever, the harder it is for people to maintain good structural position. And then usually it progresses towards kettlebells. Kettlebells being the heaviest weight that allows you to move freely and do get-ups. There are two ways to train this idea from the top down and from the bottom up. We're gonna talk about both of them. Let's talk about the first exercise in this series first, the seated club front press. We're gonna start this from the down position because that's normally how it is taught in self-defense. Normally in self-defense, you would be standing up, you would get down to the ground from an ambush attack, and then you would have to get up in some way while counterattacking or defending yourself. The first piece that we usually teach with gun get-ups is using a club having two feet flat on the ground in front of us. This position here, as opposed to this position, straight leg position is something that's used more in gymnastics, usually legs up for self-defense or gun get up training because it would allow us to move into different types of leg threads very easily. This first press, very simple, bring your feet back, try to put them flat on the ground, shoulder blades back in together, press out, drive your rib cage down, two elbows lock up, Try and rotate the elbow pits towards the sky. Bring your elbows back. Do not let the club come so far back that it's in danger of hitting you in the face. Teeth are very expensive. Bring your elbows back until they touch your body. Drive your shoulder blades down and front press. Two elbows lock out. Bring your elbows back, touch. Drive your shoulder blades down, press. Of course, you should do an equal number with both hands high. In the previous set, our left hand was high. Now in this set, our right hand will be high. Press. The goal here is to get towards our double elbow lockout position with our elbow pits pointed generally towards the sky. There are different techniques people use but because we are doing this with weight, it is not exactly the same as it would be with actual modern weapons. We are looking to build the structure necessary to be able to move towards modern weapons. The important parts are that your shoulders are down as far as they can go 
with this exercise. Different types of martial arts might lift their shoulders up intentionally to protect their neck, but we are not doing that with a super heavy weight. We are trying to use our lat, drive our shoulder down, squeeze the lat, wrap that around to our core. The closer your feet come to you, the more you will be leaning back, the stronger you will get. The straighter your legs are and the less flat your feet are, the more you're going to be able to sit all the way up. Think about trying to get our feet all the way back and get to this 45 degree position because that's where we wanna build that strength. In between all the way down and in between all the way up. We wanna make sure that we are developing that core control, lat control and ab control in that position. We're going to continue with this idea and we're gonna develop this into a bunch of different types of gun get-ups. Basically what you have is differences at the bottom, whether or not you're coming straight up, rolling from the side, and then which type of leg thread you're going to do to get up, going straight forward or moving to the side, and then what implement you're gonna use. Club, mace, or kettlebell. These tend to be lower rep activities because we're trying to maintain precision and do a lot of them over many, many days. We're not trying to do a hundred of these in one day because this double lockout position is fairly intense for most people. In subsequent videos, we're gonna detail each version of this lockout, getting through a leg thread, maintaining that core control to stand all the way up, get up and move through each one of these positions smoothly and with control.